There are three main categories of Chinese online movies. On one side of the spectrum we find exciting and original projects whose creators use their artistic freedom to experiment, hone their skills and try new things. On the opposite side of the spectrum there are trashy, half amateurish projects whose main attraction is a catchy poster to lure in audiences. Between these two extremes lies a vast grey zone filled with all kinds of mid-level projects that resemble dusty antiques. Rather than a fully-fledged feature film, a meddling movie feels like an episode within a long-running TV series. Its creators are like, we didn't start this story and it's not up to us to finish it. We don't care whether it will be interesting to watch. Let's just shoot something and go home. This is exactly the case with The Legend of Aqua Witch. The movie opens with two fishermen being attacked by a gigantic predator fish. The Metropolitan detective Xu Yang launches an investigation that leads him to the sorcerer and poison expert Wu Yan Tuo. Yan Tuo kidnaps child beggars and feeds them to an underwater monster that he tamed. What is he gonna do next and how to stop him? These are no doubt important questions, but Xu Yang has a more burning problem on his hands. The thing is, Yan Tuo seems to be more than just a crazy person acting solo. He turns out to be a piece in a large-scale conspiracy against the Imperial family. The film's compelling poster promises us a sweeping adventure action blockbuster about a colossal sea monster. And while we do see the killer fish, the movie has little to offer in terms of action. It mostly follows a dull investigation into imperial court intrigues. We watch Xu Yang and two girls going from one location to another, speaking out their guesses and lingering on each new piece of evidence. The movie is packed with heavy hints at who stands behind the conspiracy, so you can easily identify the villain within the first 30 minutes. Once you've done this, following lethargic plot turns becomes truly unbearable. The actors fail to make things better. The lead part is played by the seasoned and talented Li Yang. Still, he lacks the charisma to carry a predominantly controversial film. In the supporting roles, we see the Queen and the King of B-movies, Raquel Xu and Terence Yin. Xu plays a useless and meaningless character that adds nothing to the plot. As for Yin, he's overacting as the villain Yang Tuo. Plus, for some mysterious reason, they made him look like Jack Sparrow. I can't put my finger on it considering that his character is totally unlike the eccentric pirate and the movie itself is dead serious. The Legend of Aqua Witch has a few action scenes, but the only reason you look forward to them is because you're bored to death with endless conversations and ruminations. Action scenes look like the filmmakers were careful not to overwork themselves. Their disinterest in creating decent visuals is palpable. On a brighter note, the monster fish looks good. The sea creature will reveal itself to the most patient viewers, but something tells me they won't be overwhelmed.